Okay, my friends, here it is. The video that is going to show you the easiest possible way to make LABS, the Lactic Acid Bacteria Serum, which is the ultimate probiotic fertilizer for your soil and your plants. Now, it has been almost one year since I released the last video showing you how to use milk from the store with the rice wash water and create this uh, uh, serum, lactic acid bacteria serum. And so many of you have said, wow, incredible benefits. The plants are healthy, the soil is healthy, and you get the farmhouse cheese from the production of it. Now, I'm going to answer a few of the top questions that I get from you guys in terms of how to make the uh, lactic acid uh, serum. But then also, I'm going to take you into the kitchen and show you the easiest possible way to make it. Literally, it could not get easier. So, here we go. First question that I get is, Nate, when do I know when the rice wash water is ready? Now, we have to go by the smell. Watch my original video. When you make the rice wash water, you have to tell only by the smell. So, it's going to smell like regular uh, rice for a couple of days and then all of a sudden it's going to change and it's going to smell like sour rice. It's going to smell like a little bit like feta cheese. And as soon as you smell that, that's when you add it into the to the milk. Watch the previous video that I made to understand that process. But if it uh, if you see mold on top, black mold, brown or or any color of mold, throw the rice wash water out and start over. And when you start over, make sure that you uh, agitate the rice a lot stronger than you did before. Really get it in there good and mix it up for about five good minutes. Uh, and then, you know, you want it to look almost like milk before you let it set and ferment. Okay. So the second most common question I get about the labs is, Nate, how long can it last? How long can I keep it uh, stored? Now, there is a way that you can super saturate it with the brown sugar and stuff. That, that way does exist. I personally don't believe in that way because I haven't had that good of a result. It, it loses its strength. So what do I mean by that? You can make the labs and it will stay effective and powerful for about three to four weeks in the refrigerator. Okay. After that amount of time, it will lose its power. It will lose its its force. All right. Even if you use, even if you put the sugar in there and stuff, it still just loses its force. And I know this because this will lead us into the third thing. The third question is, Nate, can I make labs from a batch of previous labs instead of going through the rice wash water every time? And the answer is. Yes, you can for a couple of times. For about two or three rounds, you can make labs from labs, utilizing about three cups of the labs to the gallon of milk. Two to three cups of the labs to the gallon of milk. You can use it like this for about two to three times, but then capture it again uh, with the rice wash water. And this leads us into our next most common question is, why the rice wash water? The reason is because the rice wash is actually a very weak nutrient solution. And so it captures only the strongest uh, strains of the lactobacilli. Only the strongest, most robust strains can survive in that weak nutrient solution of the rice wash water. Then, once it's soured and you add it to the rich nutrient solution of the milk, those strong ones are going to proliferate and go crazy and it's going to separate nice and strong. So this brings us to the next point that I want to make. And that is you can make lactic acid bacteria serum without the rice wash water if, here we go, if you utilize raw milk. Now, you need to source out some raw milk. Now, you need to do this for health reasons anyways, uh, but also because it's so easy to make the labs. So what is raw milk? Raw milk is milk that has not been heated in any way or homogenized in any way. It is just from the cow. So really you want to source this out because the pasteurization process, I will briefly just say a few of the reasons. Because when we drink milk, there are enzymes in raw milk. We are milk drinkers. The mammal is designed to drink milk. And so when we drink raw milk, there is enzymes in it. The lactase, uh, amylase, uh, lipase, all of these enzymes that help our body to break down and digest and assimilate the milk fats and the milk proteins. 
when we heat it through pasteurization, it destroys or denatures these enzymes. And so that is why so many people are lactose intolerant. That, oh man, my body just can't handle it. Yeah, because it's a dead substance, the pasteurization process. But the reason it's done is because it extends the shelf life of the milk. But see, there are also countless other microorganisms and strains of lactobacilli and everything already in the raw milk. And so we can just allow those to do all of the heavy lifting for us. It produces a far superior product, very, very powerful product when we utilize, when we make it in the way I'm gonna show you here in a moment. So the next thing about raw milk is that it is unhomogenized. Now, homogenization is a process whereby the fat molecules in the milk are forced through a machine process through really tiny holes and that breaks apart the fat molecules. But the problem is that those the fat molecules then reattach themselves to the milk proteins. And so that's why milk from the store doesn't separate. But raw milk always separates. The cream always rises to the top. And so homogenized milk can sit on the shelf a lot longer without going bad. But the raw milk will separate. But that's good because our body is designed to drink the raw milk. And so because our body handles the proteins and the fats differently. So we don't want them bound together through this homogenization process. That's another reason that people have problems digesting milk is because of the homogenization, the unnatural forms of fats. So get you the raw milk, start drinking it in your life, and you're going to notice really good results and benefits in your life. Now, I will take you in the kitchen and show you how to make this probiotic fertilizer. Then we will come back and I will tell you exactly how to use this, including dilution rates and frequency. Okay, my friends, first thing you want to do is get you some raw milk and then you can take the gallon and divide it into these four quarts like this. And then we can put the other ones into the refrigerator. We can drink this one here, of course, and then we can put the other two into the refrigerator until we need them. Then once we need them, what we are going to do is we are going to remove them from the refrigerator and let them set out on room temperature. You can see this is the unhomogenized milk because look at that cream rise into the top. Super delicious. Delicious. That only happens with the raw unhomogenized milk. See, we got about an inch and a half layer there, and that is going to be the good stuff. So we just leave it at room temperature. And after about two to three days, you will see the coagulation begin to happen sometimes sooner. Temperature is so important, but you can see how it's getting solidified. If it's 70 degrees, it will haps happen slower than if it's at 75 or 80 degrees. But we just leave that lid on there nice and loose, and you can see that there's no funky molds or anything like that. It's just becoming nice and clabbered. And so we're going to continue leaving that, and over the next few days, you will see it begin to separate more and more. See how that lid is just barely on there? So that it can breathe, but now it's becoming coagulated. So here we are about five to seven days later. It depends on so many factors. Milk. Uh, raw milk, it, each batch is totally different depending on the cow and depending on all sorts of things. It can be anywhere from three days to two weeks that it takes until this happens. But you want this to happen. You see, we can see that there's no funky molds once again. Everything is nice. The smell is nice and inviting. Just smells kind of like feta cheese. And this cheese is super delicious, although it is not as firm as the one made with milk from the store because this has not been homogenized. So it's going to be a little bit more of like a spreadable type of cheese. But you can see here that uh, the separation has happened dramatically. And this will always happen with the raw milk. You just got to give it time. So now we're going to strain it out. And this is going to be what we are left with. And we get a lot of lactic acid bacteria serum off of the raw milk. And so this is what we are going to use for our plants, guys. Now, you, want to, you can use the website uh, getrawmilk.com. And uh, you can find it close to you. All right. And so here we go. Here's the whole entire process just like this. We leave it out. And then after a couple of days, it starts to coagulate. After a week or so, then it will be fully coagulated. Now, uh, temperature is important, guys. Remember, we keep it in the refrigerator until we want to pull it out and use it like this. So there you go, my friends. That's how you do it. Now, think of the labs as uh, an unlocker. It, it goes in and it fixes issues. If you have root rot or if you have just really any kind of, of issues with the plants and you notice deficiencies or, or uh, root zone stress, you can add the labs. Now, you will add this at one ounce per gallon of water. One ounce of this per gallon of water that you use. You can use it up to every watering. You really can't overdo it as long as you stay at that dilution rate, one ounce a gallon. 
Uh, you can also foliar feed at the same dilution rate. You can foliar at one ounce a gallon. Ideally, you wanna add this every time that you're fertilizing because it helps the effectiveness of the fertilizer. And you, this is one of the few things that you can add to the house plants. Definitely, if the house plants are just kinda sad or if the, the pot has gone rancid, you can add this. One, even two ounces a gallon to house plants because you don't add as much water. But yes, you can apply to the house plants. Watch my house plant video if you wanna see my house plants. So there you go, my friends. If you feel like you gained something from the video, give it a thumbs up share the video with anyone that needs this knowledge and if you have questions then uh we do a live q a every saturday at 12 noon eastern time right here on this channel where we can discuss any of these topics also i just created a new channel called thrive like a viking where we do things uh more spiritually motivated and with that in mind so if you like that kind of stuff check us out a link is in the description and I will direct you to this video here because it is the original lactic acid bacteria serum video that you can use or milk from the store.